This Nairobi market mostly sells meat, but in stall number 570, it's wall-to-wall -wall records. Its owner, Jimmy Rugami, is a self-confessed vinyl junkie. I couldn't stop collecting records. For some reason, I was always perturbed by piracy, and I always hated anything that is not original. As you know, vinyl is the most original way of playing music. Jimmy used to be a DJ back in the 70s and 80s. Nairobi was then a famous center for African music. The big global labels ran studios and pressing plants here. Artists came from all over Africa to record their music onto vinyl. Jimmy's stall is now a rare archive of that era. But business is slow. Just as elsewhere, records in Kenya gave way to CDs and then the digital revolution. As you can see today, all music shops are kind of closed. It's because of uh, technology which we can't fight. Because uh, you guys only download music from the internet and uh, you don't buy anymore. In the meantime, he supplements his income by repairing old record players and servicing a small but loyal clientele. I use an old Sony record player and I really like using old vinyl records because I really enjoy the old stuff. For Jimmy, this is a labor of love, a reminder of more vibrant days in this part of Africa. He sees himself as a patient custodian for whom the vinyl revival seen in other parts of the world can't come soon enough. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World.